Good afternoon, everyone. As promised on Facebook, this is our video. We are we are out on a date. Y'all look at my beautiful wife over here. She's not. She's gonna be shy, but y'all see, she's she's, she's awesome. So as some of y'all know, this week I celebrated my 35th birthday, and uh, I'm gonna celebrate. And I was surprised with a. Even though my wife said she wouldn't give me a party, it was a small celebration. Uh, kids had me a cake and a card and, and a big box. and So I opened my box and after digging through different trash and different things, I found my, my gift. And it was tickets to Rodney Carrington live in Monroe tonight. So, we are out in Monroe getting ready to go see Rodney Carrington live in concert this is something I, I have been waiting a long time for y'all a long time Rodney Carrington came about oh man we got he came around when uh, in my life when I needed a laugh when I needed something to laugh about and uh and, and to this day i still enjoy listening to rodney carrington my wife knows this because she gets tired of hearing that joker when i'm cooking I, i'll listen to him a little bit so tonight we are and i'm sorry we just got caught with a detour but we are headed to see live rodney carrington my wife does not do stand-up comedy. She does not like, she's shaking her head, y'all. She does not like stand-up comedy. So for y'all that know her, no, this is just totally out of ordinary for her. But for me, it's an awesome thing that she is willing to sacrifice and, you know, do something for me. And in my Facebook post earlier, I said it'll give some hope, guys, guys and girls that are young in marriage uh, or young in relationships. That's the kind of commitment it takes. It takes doing for for that that other person, doing things you didn't want to do or you don't care to do, and stepping up, going that extra mile. So, guys, I'm gonna. I'm going to keep y'all updated throughout our evening. Lord knows where we'll go, where we'll wind up. But, uh, first step is definitely we're going to Rodney. And so we're going to, uh, we're going to go try and have some fun. Is that right there? Sure. I right, see you. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, everybody. We are in the, uh, what's it, Jack Howard Theater, waiting for the uh, show to start. You got it. Good bit of people here, but more coming. So, my baby is not real comfortable filming, but uh, I think she's going to enjoy herself. So... Right. What? You wanna enjoy yourself though, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna watch the show and uh we'll hit y'all back later. <laughs> so So we survived. Rodney was great. We were able to uh to have some laughs and she enjoyed the stand up, enjoyed Rodney. So it, it was a great time. Now we've battled our way out. We are, uh, we're hungry, and before we go pick up the kids, it's time to grub, cane style, her favorite. So, uh, we get out of here, we'll tell you our next destination. Peace out, y'all. Alright, everybody, we are, we have left canes, we are full, and, uh, Headed back to Bastrop, I reckon. 
Um, but guys, it's been an awesome evening. Just an amazing evening. We uh, we saw some stuff that didn't make a whole lot of sense. People saving seats for beer containers. I, you know, that blew my mind. Uh, you know, it's like five people had six seats and split one in the middle of them to sit down a case of beer. Uh, but hey, whatever floats your boat, that's all good. Um, but we, uh, we, like I said, we are heading back. It's been a great evening. Um, uh, awesome props to my, my awesome wife. Excellent birthday gift. Uh, one of the best. It's, it's definitely a notch off my bucket list. Rodney was, was great. It was a great evening. And, uh, the, the, now the pre-performer was not that great. He was kind of slow, kind of dull. The audience didn't really get him too well. Can't remember his name. It was that that bad. Tim, somebody. Oh, Tim. She remember Tim. <laughs> I, I, mean, I didn't remember that much. But uh, but Rodney himself was awesome. Um, it definitely did not let me down. Uh, it was what I thought it would be. So we are going to make this trek back towards the house. Go pick up the kiddos. And uh, gets 10 shades of heck because of eating it at Cane's and not bringing them any back. But it's date night. Got to be something special every now and then. I think we're going to try and make this more of a common thing. Not wait another 12 years, dude. No. It has definitely been, been a wonderful night with you. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of the time that I have. And uh, we'll see y'all later. Peace out.